Alright everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan, and I did turn on the mi ow, microphone. Damn it, I rammed my hand against the table. Uh, it's the stupid wheels on this thing. So I'm actually doing this video a day earlier than normal, uh, because, you know, now that I'm really hitting the programming pretty hard, uh, you know, I'm actually thinking I might just go, sh go live after this. So, and I also want to test out using Restream again, so that way I can use both Trovo and YouTube, uh, and see just how that goes. You know, expand the reach just even a little bit, you know? Because uh, now that I don't really cover politics stuff too much, you know, that does give me an advantage, right? Because now I can, you know, use the mainstream shit yet again. So, you know, well, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so over the weekend, hopefully everyone had a good weekend, because I definitely took advantage. Uh, well, first of all, yeah. Okay, I, I, oh my god. This is even more, irrit okay, we're gonna have to mute the site from now on. Jeez. Hopefully I didn't do cause too much ear rape. So anyway, so obviously crypto is not in good shape. Uh, it's improved since last night and into today. Now, the reason for that is, well, A, everyone's starting to price in inflation. There was an article somewhere around here. Uh, on Yahoo. Oh, yeah. What it means, everyone's talking about inflation. I read this off stream, but basically, yeah, people have already priced it in. Uh, number two, the Federal Reserve actually said over the weekend that the economy is slowing. So that's actually a stock market positive because now everyone's going to go, oh, that means the Fed is going to have to keep rates down and keep stimulating the economy or overstimulating it. And that's exactly why everything's going up. And then combine that with actual inflation, right? Because it's it's because you can see here, TIP is going up, SPIP is going up, right? The Treasury Inflation Protected Securities. That uh, what you call it? Well, you know, things have things that are not denominated in U.S. dollars has to go up. So that's why that's also why I like I get confused. Like, why is the Nasdaq going down? It's like there's there's things should be going up, right? Because I would rather have stock than the dollar. If the value of my dollar is going down, then I gotta buy something. Uh, so let's see, Riot's doing okay, what a shock, uh, Exxon Mobil's okay, and the good thing is, it looks like Riot really is worth around 23 bucks, so we just have to wait on stupid idiot Bitcoin to recover, which it will, it's just a matter of how long. Uh, where is Exxon Mobil? Let's see, Exxon Mobil, completely u u useless, uh, so I guess it's just going to be Bank of America that's uh, going to go up. For me, let me see. Yeah, let's see. What's Bank of America up? Oh, it's actually not up that much either. Okay, so I don't know. We'll have to see uh, if this little uptrend continues, or it's just simply a dead cat bounce, where like the people who are shorting are just you know covering their shorts before getting ready to short the market again. Uh, but overall, you know, it's still it's looking very good, right? Ten-year yield very stable or down. Uh, where is the dollar index? I hate to have to constantly do this. Uh, U.S. dollar. Here we go. Down a little bit, so it's eighty nine, eighty nine. Um, so dollar is down, crude oil is way up, so that should eventually be because uh, it's twelve thirteen p.m. So usually big moves don't happen until the like last hour of trading day. Like that, which is why I don't like stock markets because it's so uh, hyper manipulated. Uh, bond yields, yeah, everyone's buying. So this is probably the Federal Reserve buying up medium to short term or long term bonds because there's no reason to be buying bonds. Uh, and then crypto is doing okay. Um, in fact, today is pretty good. I don't know if these numbers are correct for the 24 hour percentage, but I also just don't care. I just want to see this thing come back up. Stockcoin's doing good. Uh, v chains recovering, very good. Uh, this doesn't make sense. Forty-seven percent. So like, what? It was down to six cents. Yeah, these numbers are really distorted on Coin Market Cap. And then Filecoin's recovering pretty nicely. So, all right, very good. And then Cardano's recovering. Litecoin, yeah. So crypto's doing all right. <clears throat> uh, crypto's RS hasn't made his video yet. He should be coming out with it. Actually, he should be live like right now. I think. No, he's not live, so, okay. So, yeah, it's it's looking okay, but, I mean, 
I mean, the, there are options expiring at the end of this Friday, according to Crypto's R Us, where Bitcoin's going to end at 50 grand. Uh, that's very easy to do. That's literally one or two days tops for Bitcoin. All right. So Bitcoin can easily do that. Because remember, look at the market cap for this 1.58 trillion. It used to be 2.52 trillion before this, you know, stupid correction that we're going through. So where did this $1 trillion go? Right? Where did, where, where did it go? Some of it's kind of going into here, right? The stock market. But it doesn't look like it's going up enough, right? $1 trillion is a lot of effing money. Okay? Uh, and the dollar is down. So I know the money is moving somewhere. It's not being parked in dollars. All right? Uh, Tether, 24-hour bond looks standard. USDC is standard. So it's not... So they're not really stable coins. So this money is moving somewhere. It's probably going into crypto and maybe some of it into uh, stocks. But um, I think this week they're coming out with data, especially the inflation data. So I don't know. Uh, it's looking better, but I'm not confident enough to say that we're out of the woods just yet. I'm still kind of expecting, you know, some other stupid retard BS to happen and then Bitcoin's going to crash again to 30 to 25K. Uh, so if it does do that, I hope it just gets it over with so we can go back up. Uh, but with that being said, a lot of people are already very negative about crypto and Bitcoin. Um, that's right. Cause I accidentally closed all my windows for my brave browser. So I'm missing like a lot of tabs and I don't remember all of them that I had open. So what's this? That's Nick should be over here, Cobra over here. Uh, so, but here's the thing, the RSI technicals for Bitcoin, where is it? And really all the other cryptos is literally at the bottom, Bitcoin Tether, right? This is, what the hell? Oh yeah, it's for, oh my, this doesn't look right. Okay, what? Oh, I think Ray changed it now. Well, what the hell is this? Well, I guess this is more accurate because now we can see uh, beyond zero. Because it was always at zero. Now it's beyond zero. So we're now we're at negative four, like 3,700 to negative 5,100. I mean, I'm just going to trust Greg Manorino's thing here. But look, just look at that bloodbath. Look at all those red candles. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is such a nasty... That is such a nasty correction. Well, the good news is Bitcoin's going to hit at least 125k to 150k on its next leg up. It might even go up to 250k. I'm going to have a very difficult time because, A, I need to sell a little bit of Filecoin just so I can get some spending cash for the next few months, right? And keep paying my rent while I wait out this bull cycle. The other thing is I kind of want to give it a try. Like Once this thing goes way up, I want to try selling somewhat, hold cash, and then wait for the downturn. Which is going to be pretty difficult because uh, Crypto RS has a much better. Um, what's this guy? Cryptos. Because this guy, you should actually follow him. He's actually gained 3,000 subscribers within 24 hours. Uh, he actually is really good at covering the technical stuff. All right? And he even goes over the historical data better than I do. So right now we have one. This is exactly like 2017. So we had one big drop, which is what we're going through now. And then later this year, we're going to have another big correction. And then after that correction, we go straight to the moon. And that's when you have to sell because that is the actual like hyper pump, right? That caught like that you saw over here, right? In 2017, see this hyper pump? Uh, now what's interesting is the search interest for last week is still finalizing, but they're saying it's actually way higher. Yeah, this is when people are panic selling. Yikes. Okay, then. Um, all right, well, I guess we'll just have to keep uh, keep track. But for the most part, um, I sold 2,000 dog so I could get some cash to t try out uh, Nexo.io. Hold on, let me let this thing load. Uh, I like this site. You can get some. You can get up to 12% interest. Uh, you already get base 8% interest on your stable coins because... Regardless of what you do, you need to eventually go into cash, right? Especially for as a short-term position. Because remember, once we, you know, sell at the top, what do we get in return? Well, we got to park into something. Dollars is your best bet, right? Because if Bitcoin's a million dollars, 
well, you want cash at that point because when Bitcoin goes from 1 million to like 100K, you still have a million dollars worth of cash because you converted to cash. So in the meantime, when you're holding that cash, well, you know, I want to get some interest. And this got, and this one's really easy. Just deposit your stable coin and get 8% interest. But they've been around a couple of years too. And they're actually legit apparently. So there's still a risk that they can run away your money, but um, I don't think that's going to happen because... They actually turn around and charge like 22% interest. So they pocket 14% interest off of your money. So they're definitely <laughs> got a very strong incentive to keep this thing going. Um, basically, this replaces banks. Like, like uh, I'm like, I'm now actually beginning to see the effects of DeFi actually starting to change at least the world, at least the finance. That's why banks and the governments and the elites are starting to get a panicky about Bitcoin. And they don't know how to, they can't stop it. Right, because like, what are you gonna do? It's like trying to ban the cell phone. Are you gonna? Are you really seriously gonna try to ban people from using like the cell phone, or you, or banning people from using the internet? Right. Even despite all the censorship that goes on, they still can't stop it. So imagine. So and like this will actually solve all our problems because all these evil people that control everything, they also control all the money. So if you attack their money and reduce their ability to manipulate things. Right, just just think about what happened with Israel and Palestine. Right, nobody supports you know what Israel's doing, but yet our government's still sending you know Israel all the missiles and hundreds of millions of dollars and whatever. Right, right to go kill like innocent civilians and kids in Palestine. Right, and then you know Twitter and Facebook and YouTube apparently were trying to censor it, but I mean all the Muslims are getting mad, so that's a spam call. Let me just hang up on that. Um. So why, so why does that happen? Because the pe because the elites control everything. The elites have all the money. All right, the elites and the elites have all the money because they control the Federal Reserve and all that stuff. Well, this is the solution to that. So that's why everyone has to get into it, and that's why also they're trying to regulate it too to prevent you from getting into something like this. So with that being said, uh, they do have KYC. You don't have to use it. Uh, I would just use the basic verification. Because I don't see any section uh, here where you can actually link up your bank account to this place. So there's no point using the actual real advanced KYC where you actually hand in your ID and stuff. Because the less sites that have your personal identification stuff, the less likely that hackers are going to get uh, get their hands on it. All right? Because that's why I don't like KYC. All right? Because hackers are constantly hacking all these sites trying to get your info. Right? Remember when Binance got hacked and they got all the KYC shit from that? Right, it was an old hack from long ago, but you know, still, it's still a problem, right? So I don't want my shit flowing out there, and you don't want your shit flowing out there too. So use this. Um, I like this site. Eight percent interest. You can go up to twelve percent if you want to get paid in Nexo tokens instead. I choose not to because the whole point of using this is they have stable coins, and I already got my, <clears throat> I already got my interest yesterday. So it's 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 super awesome, super awesome. Uh, so yeah, so, so we got our plan set in place. Uh, I'm still holding my call options. Uh, I mean, obviously I have to, because there's no point in selling for a loss. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how, we'll see how this plays out. Uh, I'm going to start doing live streams, uh, every day, uh, and try to hook it up to YouTube and see how that goes. So, uh, make sure if you're watching this on YouTube that you go to youtube.com forward slash JMC radio, right? And then do that. Uh, and then otherwise, I'm on Trovo because that's where usually where I stream. In fact, I'm going to stream right after this, but I need to do a little research before I start the stream. So, and then that's when you get the up-to-date stuff, you know, moment by moment. So yeah, so check out Nexo.io. Uh, very, very solid site so far. Um, eventually, I would want to transfer that into like my own DeFi saver wallet, right, or something like that, because you know, obviously, you know. There's always a risk they could run away with your money and then you're you're screwed. Uh, but right now, Cardano smart contracts are not out yet. It should be out any week now. In fact, let's actually go to their Twitter. Cardano Twitter. Yeah, when is that crap coming out, man? We really need it. Because I really cannot stand using Ethereum. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here we go. Updates on the card. Uh, we sure this coming Thursday. 
Okay, so they're going to do an update on the smart contracts this Thursday. Great, so that means it's not coming out this week. It should be out eventually. At least definitely well before, you know, this bull market's over. If not, I mean, we're just going to have to hold... I mean, I guess it's not too bad, right? We still have plenty of alternatives because you want to hold cash. You want to hold cash. Uh, and I read the IRS regulations. Basically, if you actually just convert your coins into actual U.S. dollars, that's when you have to report the taxes. If you're converting coins into other coins, then there's no taxable event because it's property. So, and the IRS in themselves, I remember, they actually said that, that that's the case. They only care if you make cash, like actual U.S. dollars, not USD, Tether, or coin, because it's still technically a crypto coin. It's not actual dollars, though it's supposed to represent dollars. So it's a nice little legal L E G A L loophole where you don't where you're gonna legally avoid taxes. Alright? Because in my case, yeah, I mean I'm probably just gonna make like, you know actually I probably don't want to say. It. But you know, I'll make a reasonable amount of money and then next year that's when the big the big cojones come in. Or actually I don't know, I mean I'm gonna be able to have that option because who knows what happens by the end of this year. Because I'm already expecting to dump all my crypto positions sometime around uh October or November when we see the spike in price right we need to see a spike in price then I need to look at the Twitters I look at the sentiment uh, on the Bitcoin hashtag and see if every if retail investors are going fanatical about it right I want to be fearful when everyone's greedy I don't want to be greedy when everyone's fearful right I would have been super greedy when you know over the weekend but I don't have any more money right you know because uh, altcoin mining isn't what it used to be anyway you know so there, there goes that stable source of income. But luckily we have DeFi now, so I'll be able to fix that problem this time around. Assuming I make millions of dollars. So anyway, I better go. Um, what's this video at? 17 minutes. So I'm going to go live right after, uh, like, you know, a little bit after this. So, you know, trovo.live forward slash real Johnson Chen or JMC Radio on YouTube. So I'll see you all there or next week if you're only here for the videos. Uh, I don't know. Mm, too, too, too hard to say, but it's, it's a good day today. Will it be better this week? I think so. The chances are better this week, but I'm still not quite convinced. So, I don't know. We're, we're just, I'm just going to wait and see. Because those options really are expiring, and they're expiring for a Bitcoin of 50000 So the market manipulators need Bitcoin and the stock markets markets. To go up and then we have inflation report something like tomorrow or later this week there's another big report i know it's all going to be bad so that means the market's going to go up and i'm starting to get hungry uh and there was one other big thing what was it um yeah sentiments way negative there's one trillion dollars right now with a t missing from cryptocurrency so yeah i think i I'm actually thinking, I'm being cautiously optimistic, but I do think this week will be better for crypto. So the worst is behind us because, I mean, look at this. Look at look how many red candles this is. Like, this doesn't make sense. At some point, you run out of crypto to dump, right? And look at the bottom being formed here. It, it tried to test 33,490, and then it went brought past that, and then now it's trying to do it again, and now it's just a flat candle. Like, this is looking like a bottom to me. Thank God, because, you know, I need to trade out my Ledger X options. All right, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you soon or see you next week. Yeah.